These are a couple of things when I'm looking at a company that I start to evaluate to see, hey, is it worth it for me to look further to see if it, this company is a good investment? Hi, it's Terrell Turner from the TL Turner Group here and several people have been asking me about, hey, what are some of the investments or some of the stocks that you're looking at? And I have to be honest, lately I have not been spending a lot of time looking at stocks and investments because I've been looking at a few more private deals and also working on developing some stuff, some investments that my wife and I are doing on the private side of the world. So these are a couple of the things when I'm looking at a company that I start to evaluate to see, hey, is it worth it for me to look further to see if it, this company is a good investment. Now, many of you may not be familiar with, I guess, understanding financial statements, but that's okay. You can check out this show, the number one finance and accounting show, and we'll help you give it that background information. I've done several different videos on understanding financial statements, so those can give you a little bit more detail, but this is what I would look at. If I'm looking at a company, the first thing I wanna know is, are people buying the product? Now, the way you're gonna find that out is looking at the sales. You wanna see, okay, what are their sales? What's their revenue for the business? Now, you, if you don't know where to look, an easy place you can go is if you look at Yahoo Finance. There's a financial section. When you look up any stock, you can type in any publicly traded company's name, and then you can go to the financials tab, and it'll have their income statement, and you can see, okay, all right, what are their sales? Now, a couple of the things you wanna look for is, Hey, what is the number? I mean, is it a high number? Is it a small number? And then you also want to look at how are their sales trending like over time. So usually for a lot of companies, it'll have like three to five years worth of data. So when you look at it, it'll say for 2000, like let's say for 2018, it was this. For 2017, it was this. 16, 15, and 14. That way you can see what's the trend. Does it look like they're selling more? Does it look like they're selling less? Because that gives you an idea do people actually want their product the next thing I look at is gross margin now gross margin is a little there's a little bit of a calculation there but tools like Yahoo Finance will have it there but simply what gross margin is is when you take your sales minus the cost of your products or services so let's take a popular company like Apple now Apple sales will be whatever their price is that you, you pay for the phone or you pay for the services or the devices, whatever you buy from Apple. And then their cost would be all of the people in the factories, all of the material, all of the, I guess you'd say the labor for, for the, the managers, for those people who work in the factories, the transportation, all of that cost that's related to actually making the product and delivering it to the customer, all of that cost will be subtracted from the sales and that tells you your gross margin. The reason why that number is important is because you wanna make sure that not only are they selling their products and that people want them, but they can actually sell the products at a profit. I mean, because when you're looking at an investment, you shouldn't care if they can sell a lot, but they don't make any money on it. What you want to know is, hey, can you actually sell your products and can you sell it at a profit? And then the third number I look at is the net income. Now, the net income is a little different from your gross margin because the net income will then take out all of your, your headquarters costs, all of your, I guess you say your, your corporate costs, uh, all of those things that are not directly related to the product, but they are expenses to run the business like the HR department, the accounting department, I mean, I guess the CEO's office, I mean, all of the marketing in many cases, all of those things that are necessary to run a business, but not really involved with the making or the creating of the product. Now, the reason why you wanna look at that is because you wanna see, okay, all right, is the company managing its overhead expenses properly? Because if they're not managing that well, then chances are they're probably gonna be making some bad decisions in other places in the company. Now, you wanna pay attention to that number and all three of those numbers, the revenue, because you wanna know, are people buying what they sell? You wanna look at the gross margin, say, are they making money on the product? Then you wanna look at the net income because you want to see, hey, are they managing their non-product costs well and 
at the end of the day, the bottom line will tell you whether the company's making money or whether the company's not making money. Now, again, you want to look at those over a period of time. You don't want to just look at one year because that's not going to tell you the full story. You want to see how are they doing over time? Are they getting better? Are they getting worse? Now, there are a ton of other things that you can look at, but I would say start there. Now, if you have a company in mind, definitely leave a comment because we have done several shows where we have actually picked companies and we've actually gone through the financial. So I guess you don't have to do your homework. The TL Turner Group can do the homework for you. If you leave a comment, like I said, now we may not be able to get to every single one of them, but we will try to get one of those companies or some of those companies on one of the shows that we do because I mean that is why we're the number one finance and accounting show because we help give you the information you don't have to be a I guess you you don't have to be a professional in accounting or you don't have to understand the details of accounting we do so we go through companies that you submit like we've done Facebook and we've done Microsoft and you know there are many more companies that we're in the process of working on so if you have a company you want us to take a look at then leave a comment below and I would say that will be a helpful start to helping you figure out hey you know what is this company a good investment yes or no now I won't tell you that hey you should invest in it so you shouldn't what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna help you understand the numbers so you can figure out hey you know what does this investment make sense for me yay or nay because Everybody will not have the same, I guess you say, same risk appetite or the same interest. So once you understand the numbers, then you got to kind of use some of the, I guess what I would call the common sense stuff to understand, hey, does this make sense as an investment for me? For example, after you kind of looked at the numbers and you start looking at some of the common sense stuff and you say, okay, all right, you know what? Does this company have a future? It shows that people have been buying it. It shows that they can make money on their product. It shows that they can manage their costs and make money on the bottom line. But hey, does this product have a future? I mean, for example, years and years ago, there may have been a person out there, I guess there were companies out there that were doing landline phones. Now, for many people, they don't know what landline phones are, but they were phones, I guess you'd say house phones. There were companies that were making tons of money with house phones, but as cell phones were coming into play, if you were looking at that investment, the common sense side would tell you, hey, cell phones are getting big. Cell phones are probably going to replace house phones. Although house phones are making money now, I don't think they're going to be making money in the future. So if you were thinking through that, you probably say, hey, you know what? The numbers look good today, but the future tells me something a little different because cell phones are going to take over the market. And guess what? They have because a lot of companies that were in the landline phone business, they are not making as much money as they were before if they're still around because many of them have gone out of business and shut down because they're not making money anymore. So those are some helpful tips that'll help you kind of start your journey of, hey, looking at an investment, seeing, hey, is this investment good or is this investment bad? And what I will tell you is, the truth is in the numbers. When you start looking at the numbers, what you will start finding is, you know what? There are some really good investments out there. There are some really bad ones. And from my own personal experience, some of the most profitable investments that I've looked at have been ones that are not in the news. They're not ones that a lot of people are talking about. I mean, Apple is a great company, but when you look at the investment, if you're trying to make money or you want to see your stock grow, very, very fast or you want to see your stock grow over a short period of time, it may or may not be the right company for you. I mean, long term, I think, hey, it's a, it could be a great company. But if you're looking for something that say, hey, how do I make money over the next, you know, say, two to three years? There may be some other companies out there that have a lot more growth potential or that may actually give a dividend so you get to make money every single quarter. But hey, those are more advanced topics. We, can talk, we will talk about them on this show, the number one finance and accounting show with the TL Turner Group. Until next time.